let's learn how to efficiently organize and set up navigation on a classroom wiki and this one is hosted by edit me and as you see here I'm on the home page of my classroom site Mr. Barnes virtual language arts and I've got a lot of things that are great for students and parents I've got embedded video uh, follow me on Twitter I've got a birthday section I put kids birthdays on there they like that or famous people's birthdays I've got delicious tags bookmarks um, but what I also have that's really helpful is this recent activities link and what this is is a parent-child relationship and from recent activities to pages I've created that supply excellent information about what we're doing in class so this is really powerful for students now to set this up I'm gonna need to get to my page organizer now I have a link on my menu that I've created that goes directly to the page organizer and you can do this very easily by copying the link and just uh, going to edit menu and adding it or you can go to design and you can go to your skin settings and uh, once you get to your skin settings you go to your navigation section and here you've got all of the things you need at edit me to navigate and I'm gonna come down to custom navigation and uh, then I'm gonna go to the organize tab and that brings me to the page organizer and then I've got my menu and if I click on the drop down menu I can edit just about anything I want to and organize anything so what you see here is I have uh, a, a lot of things over here and you see it's, it's I'm in the organized section there's my recent activities at the top along with some other things I have on the left side menu and again if I click this drop down arrow I can get to the top nav bar if I want to edit that but what I want to do is put something under recent activities now I, I created a page uh, for something we did this week called retrieved reformation final discussion and I want to drag that over and I want it to be the first thing under recent activities so I'm gonna put it there I'm gonna hold it to make sure it stays there and then when I let it go you see it just drops right there and uh, all I have to do now is exit out of that and um, I'm going to be able to see it. I also put my recent activities tab on top navigation and there it is. My retrieved reformation link is right up there. This is a blog post that I've created for my students and, and it helps them. Now you notice here I've, I tell them that uh, I've created some notes and this is just more navigation stuff that makes your site better. I've got a short story unit tab and uh, that's on top navigation and everything we're doing in the unit is on this page for them so it's really easy for students and parents to find so uh, I've told them that the document on the blog that I told them it was attached and there it is I go down to attached files uh, and I open it up it's a PDF that I've created and this is really notes for them to refer to at any time and uh, they can open that up they can print it if they want they can copy it parents can see it it's really a, a powerful tool and that's back here on the short story unit page so I've created that page and I've put it on top navigation and then all of my other links are there and I'll get students here by using blog posts and putting those on that recent um, activities page now another thing I want to share with you is how to change the look of a page uh, here is a video that I've created and you notice when this video opens the look of my page changed to a single column look and uh, to do this I just go to edit and I'm gonna come over to advanced and you see right here where it says layout a lot of people don't realize they can do this so I'm in a, uh, a two column layout but I want to go to a one column for this page so that's what I do and now if I wanted to I could go to another look I could go to Brighton or Acton and really just change the entire look of a page uh, you see up here I've got my security set so the public can view it but only I can edit it and when you go back to that now I can fit a pretty large video on that page because I'm in one column rather than two column and uh, I can show that right there and I don't really have to blow up that video at all so I've, I've taken a video clip from a movie to help demonstrate a literary concept and uh, that creates a real effective look 
and uh, that's setting up some good navigation and uh, also um, how to change the look of your pages on a wiki hosted classroom website in five minutes or less.